Mega Goal 4. Unit 1. There's no place like home. Pages 6 and 7. 1. Listen and discuss. 1. What is home? A roof to keep out the rain? Four walls to keep out the wind? Floors to keep out the cold? Yes, but home is more than that. It is the laugh of a baby the verse of a mother, the strength of a father, warmth of loving hearts, lights from happy eyes, kindness, loyalty, comradeship. Home is first school for young ones, where they learn what is right, what is good, and what is kind, where they go for comfort when they are hurt, or sick, where joy is shared and sorrow eased, where fathers and mothers are respected and loved, where children are wanted, where the simplest food is good enough for kings because it is earned, where money is not as important as loving kindness, where even the tea kettle whistles from happiness. That is home. Two. No one realizes how beautiful it is to travel until he comes home and rests his head on his old familiar pillow. Lin Yu Tang. Three. The wealth of a man in exile is home, and the poverty of a man at home is exile. Arabic proverb. Four. The best way to keep children home is to make the home atmosphere pleasant and let the air out of the tires. Dorothy Parker Five. A man builds a fine house, and now he has a master and a task for life. He is to furnish, watch, show it, and keep it in repair the rest of his days. Ralph Waldo Emerson. Six. Boys are life's way of telling you your house is too clean. Unknown. Seven. There isn't enough furniture in the world to make a house without love feel like a home. Unknown. Eight. A house is a home when it shelters the body and comforts the soul. Philip Moffat Nine. A house that does not have one worn comfy chair in it is soulless. May Sarton Ten. A small old house filled with love is better than a large new house with none. Unknown.
Page 10. 4. Conversation. Where are you going to live when you start college in the fall? I don't want to live on campus. There's too much noise when you're trying to study, and there aren't enough places to go when you want to socialize. So I'm going to get an apartment off campus. Cool. What kind of apartment do you have in mind? Well, I'm hoping to find a large modern place with an extra bedroom for visitors. It has to have parking. And, of course, it has to have a washer and dryer. Hold on. Do you have enough money for an apartment like that? Why? Do you think it would be very expensive? You are clearly out of touch with rental prices. You need a reality check. An apartment like that will cost an arm and a leg. Like how much? We're talking megabucks. Maybe two grand a month. Two thousand dollars? I had no idea. I thought it would be a lot less than that. Only if you want to live in a tiny apartment way outside of the city. Well, maybe I shouldn't be in such a rush to move out. I could live at home with my parents just for the first year. Page 11. 5. Listening. Listen to the real estate agent talk about important factors to consider when looking for an apartment to rent. Tick the factors mentioned. Finding the right apartment to rent can have a big impact on your life. Still, finding the right rental doesn't have to be an overwhelming project if you know what to look for. Here are some of the most important factors to keep in mind. The location of the apartment is extremely important. You might find a beautiful big apartment, but if you don't like the neighborhood, you're probably not going to be happy in your home. Ask yourself, do I like the feel of this neighborhood? Is it convenient for shopping and transportation? Is it safe enough? Is having a lot of light important to you? Then be sure to check the number and size of windows in the apartment and whether they are facing south. If an apartment doesn't have enough light, you may find it to be a depressing place to live. Check the size of the rooms to make sure your furniture will fit. After all, the last thing you want to discover on moving day is that your queen-sized bed won't fit into the bedroom. Also check that there is enough closet space to fit all of your clothes. Do you have a pet? If so, find out whether pets are allowed in the building. If you don't like or are allergic to pets, you might want to look for an apartment in a building that does not allow them. Do you have a car? If so, you should check to see if a parking spot is included in the rent. You should also check the convenience and safety of the parking. And lastly, be sure to read every word of the rental contract. If there is anything you don't understand, get clarification before you sign the contract.
The apartment you choose will be the place you wake up in and go home to each day, so it's worth taking the time to carefully consider these factors. If you do, you are bound to find a rental that is just right for you. Page 11. 6. Pronunciation. In English, there are many two-syllable words whose part of speech and meaning change if you change the stress. Stress the first syllable of most two-syllable nouns. Stress the last syllable of most two-syllable verbs. Listen and practice. 1. Finding the right apartment can have a big impact on your life. 2. Paying rent that is too expensive for you can impact your lifestyle. 3. Finding the right apartment doesn't have to be an overwhelming project. 4. When you go to a job interview, you should project a sense of confidence. 5. Be sure to read every word of the rental contract. 6. Some people contract dangerous viruses while they are traveling abroad. Pages 12 and 13. 8. Reading. Vision 2030. Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. The Kingdom of Saudi Arabia is blessed with a significant wealth of natural resources, an Islamic, family-oriented society, and extraordinary opportunities for economic growth. The nation's Islamic faith, national identity, culture, and heritage make it special and provide limitless potential for development. The nation is honored to welcome and serve an increasing number of pilgrims and visitors from across the globe every year. The expansion of the two holy mosques and the upgrading of services and facilities had helped to cater for 15 million visitors from its development until 2020. These improvements will continue to ensure that all pilgrims are well looked after when they visit. The people.
Saudi Arabia's 2030 vision is largely based on the ambition, determination, and talents of its people and their Islamic values. It is important, therefore, for the members of the Saudi society to be supported by social, health care, and educational systems in order to cultivate and nurture its children in the best way possible to prepare them for a promising future. Cultural and entertainment projects will include the establishment of libraries, galleries, museums, and the organization of different types of events and activities. Housing and community development projects will provide a pleasant, secure, and sustainable environment for the citizens of the kingdom. An updated educational system will provide high-quality learning and develop available talent and potential. Graduates will have the knowledge and skills required by the job market and access to many opportunities for professional development. The Economy the kingdom's economy has great growth potential. A diversified and renewed business environment will offer employment opportunities to all citizens and attract new investors. Impro improved and updated services and facilities will attract small and large companies interested in participating actively in a dynamic economy. Telecommunications and information technology will be updated and made available in urban and rural areas. The kingdom's strategic position that connects the waterways of three continents, Europe, Africa, and Asia, will make it a leading trading and transportation port for cargo from different countries across the globe. Streamlined government services will facilitate the introduction of new business sectors and partners and support growth. Investment opportunities will be increased through privatization of state-owned assets and agencies. The Kingdom of Saudi Arabia will be a leading business hub with limitless opportunities for the development of new talent and creative enterprises. Page 14, 10, writing. A home over the canyon. When people talk about unusual homes, I think of our friend's dream home in New Mexico, on which they spent all their savings building. On the outside, the house looks like most adobe homes of the area. Adobe is made from sand, clay, water, and organic material that are shaped into bricks and left to dry in the sun.
Our friend's house is a beautifully designed, large adobe home with a drive and a large cactus tree near the entrance. It has soft lines and is less angular than conventional urban homes. When you go through the door, you find yourself in a beautiful, spacious room with large windows and sunlight streaming in. Large windows are unusual for adobe homes, but this is no ordinary home. Part of the house juts out of the adobe shell that can be seen from the street and stretches to the end of a cliff. You walk past a kitchen fitted with a cast iron stove and handmade wooden that give off the most enticing smells of cumin and chilies and herbs. It is so real you can almost taste the food. The spacious room that you step into when you enter the house stretches in all directions. You walk towards the sitting area. When you get closer, you need to brace yourself as the most spectacular view imaginable unfolds before your eyes. All of a sudden, you are no longer stepping on wood. The floor is hard, and your footsteps make a strange resounding sound. You look down and wonder whether you have been transported in space and time. You are looking into the gaping canyon. You think you are falling into it. You can almost feel the air whooshing past. Part of the floor is made of thick, custom-designed glass. You might like it or hate it, but however you feel, you have to admit it is unique. This is the way I feel about this house and the day I spent there. It was a unique, unforgettable experience, even if I wouldn't choose to live with a glass floor over a canyon for the rest of my life. Would you?